morning, everybody. I would like to encourage you from the book of Exodus this morning. I'm reading about how Moses took the Israelites out of captivity through the Red Sea and into the wilderness. And you will know that as they get into the wilderness, the people, the Israelites, become very fearful, um, afraid of dying, afraid that there is nothing for them to eat and that they would perish in the wilderness. But God has provision for them. And he says to them in verse four, I'm going to rain down food from heaven for you. Each day the people can go out and pick up as much food as they need that day. God had provision for them from heaven, supernatural provision that would come every single day to their doorstep, so to speak, something from him that would sustain them, bread that would give them strength and sustenance uh, for the day and for all that was ahead. In verse 11, it goes on and it says, in the evening you'll have meat to eat and in the morning you'll have all the bread you want, plenty, that plenty for you, for all that you need. And God has uh, a wonderful wonder in the wilderness there demonstrated heaven to earth provision. Now, Jesus in chapter six of the book of John, he describes himself as the true bread of heaven. He came from heaven He came to earth and he told us, I am the bread of life. And now today, you and I, we enjoy fellowshipping with the bread of life, with Jesus himself in prayer, by the spirit, in the word. And every day we can receive divine uh, provision from the Lord as we spend time with him. We now have the bread of heaven ourselves. He's our saviour. He's our life. He is our divine delivery of provision from heaven to earth to mankind. He's all we need for each day and he is faithful to us every day. However, there are those around us who don't know him. And now with the spread of life living within us, we can be the most supernatural, divine bread delivery to those around us. Everybody's scrambling for bread at the moment on the shelves, on their online deliveries and things. But do you know, we are the bread of life because of Jesus in us. And we can take that bread and we can feed all those around us with the life of Jesus. What a fantastic opportunity we have in these days to do that. We are supernatural filled with supernatural bread of life, directly from heaven, meant for earth. So I think we have some great opportunities ahead. I want to encourage you to make a bread delivery. Do do a bread delivery. Ask the Holy Spirit to give you some wonderful ideas of how we can feed those around us with the good life of Jesus Christ. And I also want to encourage you that God loves you and he loves me. And he is going to provide for us every day what we need. He knows where we are. He knows who we are. He knows what we're doing. And he has us in mind. And he is with us every day. And he has a fresh delivery every day for you that will sustain you through your day and for all that is ahead with all the opportunities, all the challenges, all the fun and all the laughter as well. May God bless you and have a fab, fab day. Bye. Thanks for joining us today. Search for us online and get information about upcoming events and more great teaching.